In CAD MADE Takeoff we will be able to calculate the object's count by automatic method. To do the quantification go to the count and select object search or press Ctrl plus 1 in the keyboard. Auto count table dialog box will pop up. And we can select auto option from the list. Enter the name select the color and shapes from the options which will be displayed in the document once the operation being completed. Once we finish the selection process go and hit the pick object option to select the object to search. Zoom into the object which you want to calculate and make a square selection. It will take you to the object editing dialog box. From the right top corner you can edit the object more precise by erasing unwanted areas from the selection. So we get the accurate result. In case while editing if we make any mistake we can reset to the original point. From the sensitivity meter you can set the sensitivity in order to get the best result. On the right side you have the preview of the document. Right click and add region where the software scan for the object. You will be able to create maximum of 5 region in a document. Once done go and hit the search option. The software was scanned to the entire region and display the result. So from the bottom you can see the total number of objects and by default the software selects the total quantity. You can browse the results by scrolling the list. If you find some of the objects selected are not matching the criteria, just hold on the shift to select multiple objects. And click the select, deselect all. Once done go and hit add button to update same in a table. If you want to change the color and shape of the legend, you have the privilege to do that. Color, shape and scale of legends can be changed here. The name and quantity will be displayed in workspace window in the left hand side. If in case you want to add more objects to the search, just hit the record button and keep adding objects by a single click. Click export to XLS to export the results into an Excel file. Input the file name and select the location where you want to save it. 